A Macomb County woman's battle to get her parents back from a guardianship company that placed them behind a locked fence continued in court today. The seven investigators have been following Marcy Mitchell's case for weeks. And thanks to our reporting, so is the Attorney General now. Today, the guardianship company officially resigned, but Marcy still does not have her dad and stepmom back in her care. All rise. The 16th Circuit Court for the County Macomb is now in session. Macomb County Chief Judge James Burnett Jr. took the bench Monday morning to take over this controversial guardianship case, first exposed by the seven investigators. In November, Marcy Mitchell petitioned Judge Catherine George for guardianship of her dad, Bob Mitchell, and her stepmom, Barb Delbridge. Bob and Barb are both suffering from dementia and other mental health issues. Even though under the law, Marcy had priority to become the guardian, Judge George appointed Caring Hearts Michigan Incorporated, which is owned by Kathy Kirk. Kirk then hired her own company called Executive Care to provide caregivers and bill Bob and Barb's estate that's worth about $2.7 million. I'm not a bad daughter. I'm not a bad person. I never have been. The one thing I want is for my parents to be safe and happy, and right now that's not happening. After we showed you how the caregivers installed a six-foot-tall privacy fence and cut off family visitation for Bob and Barb, Judge Biernat removed Judge George from the case. For the record, Your Honor, Joseph P. Boodler on behalf of Caring Hearts. And now Caring Hearts is gone, too. You are now officially off the case. But instead of granting Marcy and another relative guardianship, Marcy says she was blindsided yet again in front of a courtroom packed with supporters. In guardianship cases, someone called a guardian ad litem, or GAL, is supposed to meet with the wards, explain their rights, and then under Macomb County court rules, turn in a report seven days before a hearing. Have the party seen Mr. Adams at some court? Not yet, Your Honor. I just finished it this morning. Oh. Today, that guardian ad litem read from that report that repeated several allegations involving Barb that were made by Caring Hearts. Marcy says they're false. And she had repeatedly said to uh, one of the care providers there, uh, repeatedly said, gold digger, gold digger, and uh, referring to the uh, <coughs> petitioners. Now, just to be clear, are you saying... You did not hear that. I did not hear that. How much direct knowledge do you have of what you just presented to the judge? Personal knowledge of having witnessed the events? None. The statements in the GAL's report were not factual at all. What did you think when he said those things about you? It's very hurtful. The judge decided to wait until later this month so he can hold a full evidentiary hearing and the attorneys can challenge those allegations in that report. A top official from the Attorney General's office was in the courtroom today keeping an eye on this hearing. The Attorney General's Elder Abuse Task Force is working right now to change some of these guardianship rules of an exclusive interview with the AG later this week here on Action News. Alan.